well because of um, uh, it being post chemotherapy. So I wanted to prove that you know um, I wanted to prove that I had a, um, a thing that was affecting his body very severely, but that wasn't. Um, yeah, that was basically the drugs, the drugs, the side effects of the drugs causing nausea, especially the amount of morphine that he needs to take in order to just get through mentally and physically the day and the night of these really full-on camping adventures. And um, so I went about doing that, but in the process, I think I took on a diet and a physical exercise regime that turned my fat into muscle, and I ended up putting on half a stone, even though I look a lot thinner than I did. Uh, so the boys were actually lugging um, a little lump of frail muscle around rather than a, uh, a slightly podgier but lighter version. Anyway, uh, I tried to help boys, I'm sorry. As a shoot, it was very, very, very long hours. Um, um, but James as a character is, is being lugged around for a lot of that. So in a way, I kind of got off that side of it um, relatively easily. Um, but the physical challenge for me was basically bringing about the hardships of the cancer, the difficulty with walking. Uh, I don't know if you heard that, but the difficulty with walking, um, uh, the different terrains, the levels of pain, the deterioration of his condition, um, the, the interior internal pains of cancer, as well as the psychological effects of both the drugs and his um, mortality being uh, ever in the balance. And, um, that's a huge challenge, but something that any actor will tell you is, is, is a bit of a, a joy in, in a sick way. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's good work to do, um, especially when it's well, um, very well tracked and, and, uh, and, and charted in a good script. It's a, it's a horrendous truth of modern life that um, cancer will affect anybody watching this film in some degree or other, whether it's by contracting a form of it uh, or um, by knowing someone who does and uh, it's particularly poignant when it takes somebody whose life is yet to fulfill its promise or you know the sad thing about James is that his expectations are always very high and he's one of those dreamers and he has to be hit with the realization that he hasn't actually achieved a great deal with his life he's got extraordinary friendships he's a, he's a rather beautiful person and human being it's just that He's lived, he has lived, but there's a lot more for him to live for, um, especially after the sort of story unfolds and what he knows he's missing behind. She discovers on the journey certain secrets or outcomes of his friendships and, uh, and the lives of his friends that he didn't know about. And I think it's particularly poignant and hard when someone as young as him has to make peace and come to terms with um, forming a legacy and trying to contemplate um, what it is to, to, to experience the human condition, what it is to give it a go and, and how to do it all with a smile. He's got a great charm, James, he can do it all with a smile and I think that's what's important about him. He kind of, um, he's very gracious, he's sort of grace under pressure, he's quite, quite sort of childlike and, and innocent but at the same time uh, <laughs> he's yeah, easily amused. He's a lovely chap, lovely chap to play. Hmm? Oh, they're ready for us. Say goodbye. Can I say goodbye and go down? This is what I keep on doing in this film. Now he wants me to do it in the EPK. Goodbye.